we hope up till this point you will be clear about the concept of the central tendency in the concept of the central tendency we have talked about the mean median and mod in this video tutorial we will explain it to you that how you can calculate the mean median and mod of your data set using the r and the r studio so let's begin the first step is to set your working directory where your data set is located to navigate to our folder, we will click here on these three dots and then we will go to the D drive and within a D drive, we will select our directory where our data set is located. As we told you earlier that our data set is located in a test directory. After selecting the test directory, we will click on open and then we will come back here and we will click on this gear button. When we will click on this gear button, then there will be a drop down menu and in this drop down menu, we will click here on set as a working directory. Now our folder is selected as our working directory and here you can see the clinical data set.csv file that is holding our data. Let's first read the data. But before reading the data, let us explain you the concept of the comments. It is highly recommended to add comments along with your codes. These comments will help you to remember that for which purpose you have written the code. The comments always begin with a sign of hash, as you can see it here, and they will be in green color. You can write anything which you think suitable in the comments to remember the nature of the code. Please keep it into mind that these comments will not be read along with the codes. These are just for your information. So here we are going to add a command loading the data set. After writing this command, let's read the data set by creating a variable named data and then giving a sign of equality in R and then using a one function read.csv. After typing the read.csv, we will come inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses we will type comma inverted comma and within a comma inverted comma we will write down the name of the file that is holding our data set. After writing down the name of the file that is holding our data set we will hit the run button or we will press the control enter key to execute this code. Now look at the console and the environment tab of your R studio. In the console, we are not getting any error message. It means that our data set has been successfully loaded. Now in the environment, you can see that our data set is having 100 observations and 10 variables. In the previous video tutorials, we have explained it to you that what does it mean by the observations and what does it mean by the variables. Now let's check out the structure of our data set once again. But before checking the structure, let's add a comment. After adding this command, we will come to the next line and we will type str function and then within a parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our data set. After typing this, we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Once we will do that, then look at the console. In the console, we are going to have the output and this output is letting us know the name of all columns or the variables present in our data set and their nature as well. In a last practical tutorial, we have worked on an age variable. So let's work on the age variable once again. Let's try to calculate its mean, median and mod. As you can see it here that the age is a numerical variable. So let's first calculate its mean. But before calculating the mean, let's first add the one comment. After adding the comments, we will come to the next line and we will type the one function named mean. This function will help us to calculate the mean of our variable. After typing the mean, we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding the data and then we will give the sign of dollar. The sign of dollar will help us to specify a column in our data set or variable. Right now, we are interested in age variable or the column. So we will type here the age. We will come out the parenthesis and then we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. 
Once we will hit the run button or press the control enter key, then the mean will appear in our console as you can see it here. The mean age of our variable is 48.28. Now after calculating the mean, let's calculate the median. Before calculating the median, once again we are going to add a one command. And after adding the command, we will come to the next line and we will type a one function named median. This function will help us to calculate the median of our dataset. Now once again, within a parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our data. And then we will give a dollar sign to specify the variable in which we are interested. Right now we are interested in age. We will type the age and then we will come out of the parenthesis. And after coming out of the parenthesis, we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Then we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Then the median age will appear in front of us in a console. As you can see it here. Now, interestingly, you can see it here that the mean age is 48.28 and the median is also 48. Can you guess that what type of age distribution there will be? Exactly. It will be the normal distribution because mean and the median are very close to one another. Keep it into mind that in case of a skewed distribution, the mean and the medians are very far away from one another. Now, after calculating the mean and the median, now let's calculate the mod. But before calculating the mod, let us tell you that there isn't any function to calculate the mod in R. So it means that we have to define our own function. So this is a function to calculate the mod. Please don't worry about this function. We will provide you in your assignment tutorial. We have written this function because already in the R, there isn't any function to calculate the mod. To use this function, First, you will run this piece of code. Once you will run this piece of code, then look at your environment tab. Here in the environment tab, you can see the mod function has been created. Now this is time to use the mod function. To use a mod function, we will write down the name of the function, which is a mod. And then we will give the parenthesis. And after giving the parenthesis, we will type the name of the data set that is holding our data. And then we will give the sign of dollar and afterward we will specify the variable or the column in which we are interested and that is age right now. After typing the age we will come out of the parenthesis and then we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Once we will do that then the mod will appear in front of us. As you can see it here in the console the mod value is 47. Now as you can see it here that the mean median and the mod are very close to one another and these are the ideal properties for a normally distributed data as we have explained you in the theory tutorials that the mod is more suitable for the categorical data rather than the numeric data so we will highly recommend it to you to use the mod for the categorical data not for the numeric data always we hope so that now you will be very comfortable to calculate the mean median and mod by yourself in R. In case of any confusion or problem or error message, please don't hesitate to contact us. We will try our level best to help you out.